In a meeting Wednesday morning, coffee farmers cite laxity in the sight of government in improving coffee production in the country that has contributed to farmers reaping peanuts in the sector. I've labored time and again to say if only oil came on the surface yesterday and it has a law governing it, why not coffee on which we have survived for the earning of our foreign exchange? Since why hasn't this entered into the parliament of Uganda to enact a law to govern this very important crop? The farmers blame the government for increased middlemen who deprive farmers of their profits as well as ineffective research institute that has failed to offer disease-resistant varieties farmers with the only option of uprooting infected coffee plants. It is interesting to see how these farmers are interested in business as handouts. They are ever asking for better markets. They want to see change and, uh, and poverty alleviation through business other than handouts. However, the question is, has the government created a conducive policy environment for farmers to do business? On the national coffee policy formulation, I would like to inform you that this is now at advanced level of cabinet. The is going to speed up and finalize its formulation, which will later be passed into law. Uganda exports 3 million bags of coffee annually. As farmers say, the crop is about to extinct if urgent measures are not put in place to save it. Traditionally, Uganda was known for tea, cotton and tobacco production, which has declined with the coffee remaining in a stagnant production level for decades. Kenneth Buire. WBS News.